We've seen several water main breaks in Durham, and this morning, another one happened in Wake Forest. Yeah, she was talking about Capitol Boulevard, too. CBS 17's Randy Ayala on the scene in Wake Forest, where crews are working to fix the pipe. But I know, Randy, you discovered this might be the beginning of a trend. That is exactly right, Bill and Felicia. Well, crews behind me have been working for several hours to get this water main on West Cedar Avenue back up and running, but it's not the only one today. We're also told a pipe burst on Raleigh Boulevard in Millbank. Sorry about that beeping horn. Take a look at this video. We gathered earlier a portion of West Cedar Avenue from North Wingate Street to North College Street shut down while crews try to get it under control. Ed Bucken with Raleigh Water says cold weather is likely the culprit. Especially a big change in temperature, so you go from the 40s or 50s during the day and then sometimes drop into the, the mid-20s at night. That tends to make, we think, the soil kind of shift and that can twist pipes. Buckin also says if you see one, stay clear. A lot of people will try to take pictures or video of that water main break, but he says a sinkhole could be underneath and going near it could potentially become a dangerous situation. Now, as far as this water main burst on West Cedar Avenue, crews tell us it should likely be fixed within the next hour or so. Reporting live in Wake Forest, Randy Ayala, CBS 17 News.